Yo, what up homies? So in this video, I wanted to go over a very important but often overlooked topic that I feel most people don't take serious enough. Especially for you gamers out there who spend hours upon hours playing every day. And this has to do with your setup and your comfort. Once I figured out that I had a terrible setup and I fixed it, I became a better PC player in general and in PUBG. I can't stress enough how important your posture is, as well as your overall setup, which consists of your chair, your desk, your monitor height and angle, your lighting, your arm placement, and of course your peripherals. First, I want to go over your posture. I did a lot of reading on this, and considering you're sitting in a chair for many, many hours, this is a worthy investment. That is, of course, if you have a passion for gaming, or you want to take it to another level, whether that's streaming and content creation, or the competitive route. You'll often hear that gaming chairs are a gimmick, and that they really aren't that comfortable, but I disagree. I mean, why else would all these gamers and pro players be using them? What defines comfort anyway? I have a DX Racer, and it's got great lumbar support, and it keeps my posture straight as well. And it's quite comfortable for me, and I sit for long hours. I sit up as straight as I can, and without this type of chair and back support, it just wouldn't feel as comfy. These chairs are designed for gaming in mind. Having a straight up posture is highly recommended for long term health reasons and performance. You may see many players leaning forward, you know, it looks like they're really focused and that seems to be helping, but it doesn't mean it's right. Scoot your chair in and do your best to sit upright. Next up I want to discuss your desk and chair height. Now not everyone can afford the greatest chairs and desks, but these are some basic rules and measurements that I find is enough to game comfortably. You can find affordable stuff at Ikea or even your grandma's attic, just do some research. The functionality is more important than the look in my opinion, as you're mostly the one going to see it anyway, right? Now your chair should be close to your desk and your arm should rest on the desk flat at a 90 degree angle. At least I'm recommending this. This will stabilize your arm and provide more precision in those sniper engagements where you're shooting at something as small as a pixel. Your desk needs enough space and depth as well to be able to move your arm freely, especially if you're playing a shooter. I found that a desk with around 2 feet of depth is enough to fit most monitors and your arms and your keyboard and still have that ability to move them around as you see fit. The width is equally as important, as you may want 2 to 3 monitors, and I found that around 46 inches works well for 2, but if you want 3, or you plan on putting your PC on the desk as well, then something around 56 inches and above would probably work, and if the third monitor is vertical, then even better especially if you don't have a lot of space for a super wide desk. Now this is great for all you streamers out there. And also, the height should be around the same height of your armrests if your chair is at max height. Mind you, I'm judging this from my gaming chair, so this may vary, but I found around 28 inches of height works pretty well. Now your monitor angle and placement is very important. Also, you'd ideally want your gaming monitor to be straight in front of you, if it's possible. If not, you're going to have to angle yourself and it can be a bit strange in terms of alignment and you throw your aim off a tad unless you really get used to it. Now this is entirely situational of course and rarely do I have an issue besides when I'm trying to control recoil and I'm pulling the mouse down and sometimes I pull it down on an angle. So just be careful for that. Also your monitor brightness should correlate to the lighting in your room. Now what I mean by that is if you're sitting in a dimly lit room, turn your brightness down to avoid that eye strain. Just because a monitor has high brightness doesn't always mean it's better. It all depends on the environment you're in and the lighting in that environment. Now there are recommended settings and calibration profiles for specific monitors that you can download as well that should help. And this leads me to the next part which is all about lighting. Staring at a monitor for long periods of time is bad for your eyesight. And you'll hear this a lot throughout your life. But it's usually because of eye strain and people not understanding the lighting and the contrast. If you have your monitor super bright and your room's dark, it's going to hurt your eyes. Ideally, if you're sitting in a dimly lit room, it helps to have light behind your monitor, hitting the wall. There are easy ways to do this by placing a light behind and letting it hit the wall, or by buying a little LED monitor strip that tapes to the back. Now you're probably thinking, but a movie theater is pitch black and we're staring at a screen and it's fine. Well that's because it's against the wall and because it's a calibrated projection and it's actually very low brightness compared to a monitor and a TV and such. So keep this in mind if you play in a dark room. Also the way you hold your mouse and your keyboard which is mostly preference is important as well. And that can help prevent carpal tunnel and these tips and these setup improvements should help with this as well and you'll thank me in the long run. And that about wraps this video up. 
I hope it sheds some light on an often overlooked topic and it helps improve your game plan. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more. Peace.